All right, now I'm going to go to new solution process. I'm going to come down here to geometry optimization. If I click on geometry optimization, it's going to come up with this. It's going to do solution 101, linear statics, NX optimizer. We can use Altair Hyperworks. So here's Altair HyperOp. Okay. So this is their optimization. Altair is just another finite element software company that's out there. They, they were the initial ones that did a lot of stuff with the uh, topology optimization. So the topology optimization is some of their stuff. They did a lot of the initial optimization. That's why you see it right here. They were like some of the first people that did optimization inside of the net. So I'm going to use the Tel Altair uh, Hyperop. I hit OK. So now it comes up with all these little things that I, these are my, this is the menu I have to go through each one of them. So the whole geometry optimization involves these steps. This first step is just, we don't do anything. Our objective here, what are we trying to do? We're trying to minimize the weight. Um, we can click over here. We can minimize the volume, or we can pick our results measurement and do something like minimize the stress. Okay? So my goal is to move this whole around such that the stress in my part is minimized. That's what I'm trying to do. Okay? And then later on, if we're making something and it's like uh, going to hold a weight or something, I think one of the things I did was like a, an angle bracket that's going to support something. So the angle bracket, let's say we make an angle bracket that's going to support a big flower pot, right? You put the hook on it. Then the question is, is how wide, how thick do you make it? You know, what's the width kind of thing? So all of that, you can set it all up. Okay, you can draw everything. You know, make everything real thick, and then come in and do geometry optimization, in which case our objective would be to minimize the weight. Okay. So the objective we have for this particular problem is we want to minimize the stress. So I'm going to come down here to results measurement well before I do that. So our objective is to minimize the stress. These are our constraints. So the constraints basically tell it what we want to look at. So basically my constraint is going to be the stress. I'm going to give it the stress. I don't want the stress to be above this value. It is going to try to meet that constraint. So I tell it, minimize the stress. And now it's going to come up with this constraint. It's more like, well, what do you want the stress to be? So I'm going to give it a value. I can give it a really, really low value, and it's going to try to do that, right? It's going to try to get to that low value, okay? And it'll give me some minimum value. All right, so the constraint is basically where I want to go. Um, here's my design variables. I want to vary between, um, actually, my design variable is going to be the location of this hole, okay? the horizontal and vertical position. That's going to be my design variable. And then my control parameters, this right here, is basically how many iterations I want to go. This max constraint uh, violation, so I'm gonna, it's going to be the percentage. <clears throat> In my constraint, I'm, I'm telling you, I want the stress to be around, um, let's say I'm going to give it a value of 350. 